Welcome to our tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to be showing you how to make Squarespace templates. And this is an easy way to make them on squarespace.com. And we are going to be basically using the free version of the Squarespace. So what you do is you simply come to squarespace.com and then you click on templates at the top. And you'll notice that we may have templates that are already pre-designed that you can use and edit them down here. But you can also build your own template from scratch. And that is what we are going to be doing. But just to show you, if you right click on this uh, template, it leads you here. And then you can start with this design. That means you can start with the design that is already made. And then you can just click here on start with this design and then you can now edit that up to the end if you wanted to start from scratch we click back and then you come to templates you scroll down then you click down here written get started build your own template get started we click there it will open this a template that's unique to you so this means you can now design something that is not copied from uh, a pre-made template you can add your pages pick the colors you need and choose the font that you want so you click on let's go it is setting things up so and then now you have to feed in the details here if you could see here where it's faded down here you can see site title home page pages color and fonts although it's faded so here what is your site called so you can just give your site a name let's let me call my site joshnet ke you still have up to 90 characters to add so next you click on next then you can introduce your brand here you have the intro you have the images that you can choose from so we can basically build our homepage. Build your homepage by selecting a layout for each section you want to add. So if you scroll down here, you'll notice that we have other things such as featured selling about social forms and uh, the footer. So if we click back on the homepage down here, we have this second option, how it looks. You can click on that to see how it looks. That's the second option of the introduction. We have this one. So we have all that. So if we choose this one, for instance, you click on next. Then you can now add your details. So we are. Then on this side, you can now add the details such as you are a shop, you are offering services. Let's click that we are offering services. Then you can see the services here. We have service one, service two up to the end. And then we have the contact us before we go there. Then you click on next. We are basically building the pages. Then you can choose the colors. Uh, let's choose this color palette. If you notice, if I click on this red color, this page changes. You click on next. Then the font, you choose a font pairing and you notice we have enough fonts. Let's just choose a simple font like Waxans. Then you click on finish. So it's now building our template. It may take a few moments to get that template. So it now welcomes you to your website. The website title is, as we have typed here, Joshnet. KE. If I click on continue, it takes me to the other pages. Edit and add pages. I have two or four. I click on next. Then I can create pages here. Then I click on next. Then I get started. You notice down here that your trial ends in 14 days, but you can always upgrade. But you can always upgrade this. 
So now I, if I click on edit, I'll be able to edit all the details that are here. I can also go to the desktop view or the mobile view. So let me click on edit. And so now you notice I can now edit all this. Introduce your brand. Edit this. If I want to edit this, introduce your brand, I simply click on edit section. And so I now get this part where I can edit. Now I'll call my brand Joshnet Joshnet Production. Then I can change this part also. If I decide to change the color, I simply highlight that. And then I click on this dark spot here. Then I can choose a color. Let me use a red color. Then if I want to edit this section, again, I can double click and then I edit it. Joshnet production. Let me say I also have video services. My tag is set a memorial. Set a memorial for all your video needs. And that is it. So now I have, so now I have that. If I want to add a section, I simply come down here and click add section. I can also edit the footer and all that. You notice what I can edit there. I have the style, the fixed position and all that. So let me click on add section. If I click on add section, it gives me this pre-made part of the template. Then I decide maybe I want to add the about page. I just click on about. And then I can choose the design that I would want. I click on that first one. Then if now I scroll down, I have the about part. I simply click on that. And just like I edited the other, I can now put my details there. Let me just add your video experience count. I can also change this photo if I need to. I can simply upload another photo. If I click on that, then I click on edit. I can replace this photo or I can edit it. Let me replace it. If I click on replace, I get the option to upload a file or select from library or browse from stock images. So whichever fits what I need, it's what I click on. Let me click on upload a file. It now goes to my computer and then I can select a file that I would want to be my logo or my image for that case. Let me choose this giraffe, for instance. Then I click on open. You give it time to load and there it is. So we now have our image added to our website. Once that is done, if I'm satisfied, Basically, I will keep on adding section and section. If I'm now satisfied with this website, I simply come here and click on save. I can also edit the footer if I need to, or I can edit the page later on if I need to. I can also remove an image or a part of the page. And now I have my website here. I can add the site logo maybe at the top. I simply here edit site header and once I do that, you notice I get the option for the site title and logo, the elements, the style, and I can decide it to be on a fixed position. So if I click on site and logo, I am able to add any logo up to 20 MBs. Let me click that and then I will upload a logo, click on open. And then you can decide how big your logo will be in terms of height. And then also when on a mobile device, you can decide also and you can adjust here. So in this case, I'll just slightly adjust it. You can now see it up there, Joshnet production. I can click on save to make sure first that the changes I have made are saved. If I want to share my template, I can simply come here and uh, copy this link i copy that link and then i can share it with potential clients but i can also shorten the link i go to 
short url dot at then i paste it here then i click on shorten url it is short it shortens it to this so if now i copy this short link i can open a new tab and paste it and then it searches and takes me back to my site as you can see there's a lot more you can do with the settings profiles analytics and all that thank you for watching i hope you loved this video kindly like share and subscribe